Hi beauties and cuties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is a new year, and you know what? Me and my little friend right here want to wish you a happy new year. I am really looking forward to this new year. I feel like with 2023, I'm just more hopeful. I have like a new revived mindset. So today, I'm going to be doing a little something different on my channel, which is a get ready with me. And we're just going to be talking. Like, I don't even know what I'm going to be talking about with you, but for sure. It's gonna be makeup. So, to begin, I prep my skin with some Josie Moran Argan Oil. I feel like when you prep your skin with a good oil, it just makes your skin a really good canvas. And honestly, I haven't broken out in months. Besides this, okay, I feel like this is from the holidays. This is from all the sweets, so... Don't mind that. We're gonna we're gonna cover it up though. I'm gonna show you my little secrets. Let's begin. So I'm gonna put my handy dandy cat headband on. A purr, a purr. This is the Melk Hydro Grip Primer. One of my favorites. An unpopular opinion. I really love cloudy days. I feel like there's nothing like waking up on a cloudy day and it's like a bonus if it's raining you can hear the rain i love falling asleep to rain it's just very therapeutic so now i'm gonna spot conceal i'm gonna use the elf hydrating camo concealer and a little goes a long way today i'm gonna be using the fenty beauty eavesdrop skin tint honestly for a skin tint the coverage is amazing i consider it like a lightweight foundation it's very blurring but also very hydrating yeah i'm gonna use my handy dandy beauty blender also another thing is i cleaned all my brushes and my beauty blender and this might sound disgusting but for some reason i i just like forget to clean it throughout the year so every time it's january i clean it so i clean it once a year don't judge me don't judge me one resolution i'm gonna make for myself is to clean my brushes and my beauty blenders once a month okay so now i'm gonna go in with the ease drop and i just do about this much i've been living by the less is more saying because i used to not i used to actually pack on products so much into the skin especially back then i just did not know how to prep my skin well enough so things would just be cracking in places that i didn't want it to crack in and it was just nasty also if you want to know what brush i'm using i'm using the fenty beauty beauty foundation brush so now i'm going in with a brand new product i just bought last week for my birthday it's another rare beauty product it is their bronzer stick and this is in the shade happy soul now i'm very impressed with how buttery this applies look at how cute this mirror is by the way this is by colourpop thank you again colourpop for this mirror never have i ever used a bronzer stick that is this buttery i feel like it melts into the skin really well really seamlessly and then i take a little bit right here i'm gonna do a little nose contour i like to blend it up it snatches the nose like nothing ever before yeah I'm just talking. I'm just talking and talking and talking. That looks good. That looks really good. Very natural. I think today I'm like on the natural side. I'm, I'm gonna do like a little wing eyeliner though, so not too natural. Okay, so next to warm up my face. Blah. Next, to warm up my face a little more, I'm using the classic Hoola Bronzer. All right, so I'm adding warmth. You see how that, oh. Little goes a long way with this baby as well. Now we move on to the brows. I'm using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. I've had this for like a year and a half. I think since mid 2021. I mostly just fill in some sparse areas like right here. That's kind of sparse. And you know how a lot of the trends of the 2000s are coming back? I hope thin brows never come back. I feel like my philosophy is just do what looks good for you, what you like, what feels natural to you. All right, I love, I love brow gel. This is the NYX Control Freak. Such a cheap yet amazing product. You can get it at CVS, Walgreens. It's a great drugstore. NYX is pretty, they have pretty good products. All right. <gasps> and I've never filmed me doing eyeliner. So if you see me profusely sweating, this is the reason. I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Flash Cat Eye. Liner was always something that intimidated me. Bro, I'm literally sweating right now, but 
it's not too bad. I'm kind of, I'm very hot right now though. Oh my God, I'm like nervous. You guys are making me shy. Why are you making me shy? Okay, have you guys ever had uneven eyeliner? I think that's the most embarrassing. Another thing that intimidates me is doing liner on the waterline. Oh my God. And it makes such a huge difference, but it just gives me anxiety. Is it even? I don't know. Is it cute? I don't know. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I need to not laugh. Comment down below if this get ready with me is a little chaotic or if it's calming for you. My energy is a mix of both. I'm like an introverted extrovert. I'm like 50-50. So I have my calm, chill moments, but then other times I'm like tweaking. So I'm a mixed bag. <laughs> Looking good. All right, so now I rarely use mascara, but... Ooh, I've been loving this Kush Mascara by Melk. First of all, it feels kind of like a battery. Like if I threw this at someone, it would give someone a concussion. So mm, we're gonna put some of this on. I think mascara traumatized me for the longest time because I used the, <laughs> the Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof mascara. It gave volume, but it didn't give length. So the hairs would be like still downwards for me. And then it would smear all on my lower lash line, which was super disgusting. It would be so embarrassing too, if I was like on a date or if I was like with friends. And then at the end of the day, I go back home and I see like literally raccoon. I literally have raccoon eyes. So I like literally stopped using mascara but it makes such a difference i think that's cute though look at that length so <clears throat> next i'm using the rare beauty liquid blush in the shade joy a little goes a long way with this baby too so i think that was too much but <clears throat> excuse me but i dab it out with the beauty blender. Oh yeah, I definitely put a, oh my God. Oh my, you see, you see that? I drag my blush up to the temples and then I also do the under eye cause I feel like it just makes everything blend really well. And then sometimes I add a little blush on my forehead. I don't know, just like ties everything together. What I love with this blush is that it has a little glow to it. Okay, and then next, I'm going to do a little liquid highlighter by Rare Beauty in the shade Mesmerize. This one's kind of like a rose gold, which I've been loving. And then go in the center of my nose. Yeah, I just add a little, little glow right here. Oh my God. <laughs> I actually, whoa, I got shivers up my spine. Whoa, I got a physiological reaction to this glow. Rare beauty, fam. What are you doing to me? What are you doing to me, rare beauty? I need to actually get a powder, so let me be right back. So I've decided to use this Fit Me powder. One of the best color matches to my skin. I don't know, it just brings warmth, but also blurs everything out. So I like to go where there's texture on my skin. I've been using this AHA BHA lemon enzyme, sort of like a retinol, and the texture of my skin has been really good. I use like the littlest amount. I barely put anything in this pan, but yes, a little goes a long way. And yeah, it just, ooh. Mm. Mm. Ah. And lastly, to set the face, I'm using the Hydro Grip Setting Spray by the one, the only Milk. <clears throat> this has a lot of good skincare ingredients. I think that's one of the things that I appreciate about Milk Makeup is that they're vegan and they're clean beauty. And they also have skincare ingredients like their under eye skin tint brightener has like vitamin C. I'm veering more towards skincare infused with makeup because i feel like it's the best of both worlds so all right that is it this is my oh my god Ooh. my my hair looks crazy this is my final look Ooh, wait i'm kind of into it Ooh. oh oh look at that see what i love about this too it kind of like styles my hair for me it's cute 
very very glowy very amazing thank you guys for watching my get ready with me it's been real fun if you guys want to see more please hit that subscribe button down below turn on the bell notification to get notified whenever i post okay and also i had so much fun doing this get ready with me i feel like i want to do more of these as the new year progresses other than that thanks for watching beauties and cuties xoxo Michael Pepito.